Well, we've been looking a lot at how coding and codable tie in with a curriculum, and I've found that there are a few standards in math that it hits and less for reading in the early grades, but one area that it really hits hard is the mathematical practices, and those are the same K-5. So in the mathematical practices, it talks about making sense of problems and persevere in solving them, and that is exactly what these kids are doing every single time they're programming and uh, trying to figure out the puzzle. Uh, reasoning abstractly and quantitatively, they're using their reasoning skills, attending to precision. If there's even one little error, the whole thing is thrown off. And then looking for uh, regularity and repeated reasoning, they're, they're finding patterns and things in their puzzles and it really is helping to hit those areas. And they're hard to hit with our curriculum and our textbook, but we're hitting them in, in coding. Kids are really now starting to enjoy it now that they have been using the software. They're finally starting to learn the language and learn how to get around, make their projects what they want them to be instead of just doing the basics and having them not be as interesting as they would like. I think our kids are really starting to be more creative. Um, that was one thing I was kind of worried about at the beginning of the year was kids didn't know what to do unless you told them step by step by step exactly what to do. And now with the coding, we're seeing kids going around and saying, how can I do that? And some of the kids are saying, well, however you want to do it. You have to make it do what you want it to do because you are the programmer. My kids like Tinker because they love to compete against each other. They like to solve the puzzles in as few steps as possible and see who can do it first and correctly. I have one student who has told me that she doesn't like reading or writing. She doesn't want to try hard. But when it comes time for Tinker, she is the farthest along in the class and really tries her best at it. Tell me your name first. Cam. Okay, Cameron, tell me why you like to use Tinker. What do you like about because, it? Because um, you can like get your characters and make them fight and do funny stuff and stuff like that. It helps writing because you practically are doing typing when you make them speak and it helps you read. Like when your projects are done, you have to read their word bubbles and see what they're saying. It kind of helps you with math, because if you have two triangles in the scene, then you could flip them around and make them turn into a square. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, Kim. Welcome.